All right, back into Star Pack for some more five of a kind attempts. Now, this video is a bit longer because there's gonna be uh, two runs. So if you wanna get your guesses in for what the pet's gonna be in the second run, feel free. But pet number one, we're going for Fox. And I, I can't remember if I've showed a clip before of me trying to get five foxes, but it is brutally difficult. Um, and here I actually made a mistake where I forgot to maneuver the frog. So I think uh, in the previous turn, I could have swapped the, the fox's stats already, but I didn't do it. And now I'm not sure. Yeah, I've got the, the frog is in the wrong place still. Maybe I'm trying to get the pelican level up first. Okay, now I'm doing it. And we're going to swap the uh, stats onto the fox, and the fox will take the grapes. Now, one of the biggest problems with fox is that it is always going to steal food if there is food available. And that means that it will replace pepper, it will replace strawberry, and that will frequently break your scaling a lot of the time. And what that means is you either have to just risk it or you have to deliberately freeze foods for the entire turn to prevent it from stealing something that could remove its own equipment. And when a lot of the time, the only thing that you can usefully buy is food for scaling, that kind of <laughs> has a pretty negative effect. And you can see what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to give the pepper to the, the frog to make sure that the fox steals the strawberry and continues getting buffed by the shoe bills. Now having to keep doing that every turn to try and avoid the fox making an incorrect steal is very, very frustrating. And there we actually went against someone who had double fox, which is extremely unlikely. You, I mean, you very rarely even see one fox. So seeing an opponent with two uh, is kind of bizarre. And I'll take the level on the shoe bill here because it's also gonna scale the jellyfish. And at level one, actually, doesn't really matter too much here. If if the fox stole the um, stole the peach, then it would it would apply to itself automatically anyway. But we can guarantee that it steals the um, taco instead. So I'm going to do that, and I'm just trying to scale the jellyfish back up to such a point that I could buy another fox and then have the level three frog swap it again. A lot of runs when you're going for these just end because you can't find enough frogs. So a lot of the time I've been going for level three lately to make sure that I can get multiple transfers out of one frog. So here I'm gonna um, put the, the, the fox in and then get the jellyfish over to swap it. 24-20 uh, is not amazing on turn 11, but you know that's the best you can do a lot of the time. You know, pack three is so um, role dependent that you know you, it, it's so luck based at least it feels that way when when you're trying to go for these types of challenges so now we've got a second fox that is reasonably uh, sizable it's like I was saying it's still not that great we really need to get pepper onto it as soon as possible unfortunately we kind of also need to get strawberry onto it so the shoe bill can keep scaling it but here I'm going to freeze the um, the pepper I think I can't remember uh, if this is the run where I give up on the shoe bill scaling early or not. See, I've frozen two peppers, but by doing that, that guarantees that both foxes are going to get a pepper. And then the shoe bill will be redundant. So here I'm rolling for more foxes. I do find them. But now my strawberry fox is guaranteed to get the pepper because I, I would have to unfreeze and then roll, but I could still end up with getting grapes or cheese or something anyway. So we just give up on the shoe bill scaling. Um, maybe that was a misplay. I'm not sure if that's optimal or not. It's, it's just so awkward. It doesn't matter what you do. Something is not going to work out. And turn 12, I feel like I really needed the peppers at this point. And of course, the other problem with having multiple foxes or more than two foxes is that there's never going to be a third food item for the fox to steal in this pack. Uh, technically, you could get more if you had squirrel in custom packs or something, but not in a star pack, vanilla star pack. So we use the, the frog swap so it, it boosts the stats a little bit of the third fox. And I think I uh, here I actually tabbed out to check I was still recording. And here I think I should just instantly buy the pepper for the uh, 
the third fox because um yeah it's it's pretty pointless putting more stats onto the jellyfish and the and the frog at this point so uh, since i'm on four hearts i cannot yeah okay here we go i'm going to sell and i don't know if i i think i might actually no okay i didn't take the crow this time so now we can use the pepper on the third fox because otherwise it will go to waste and the 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 big fox okay i'm gonna actually not bother so the yeah the pepper was guaranteed to go to waste there but the hot dog at least gets stolen now unfortunately here none of the four foxes are level two and really the scaling from the food is not going to be good enough until i get to level two and here you get absolutely annihilated by this team um stego is such a problem and i'm, I'm on uh, nine wins of course i didn't mention that on the previous turn I didn't really want to win that turn because I needed to find another fox. So we actually get three chances here on nine wins. Um, and we get the double steal. But again, it's only because there hasn't been any level ups and there's no chocolate for the foxes to steal. The the stats that the food is providing are just so meager in comparison, even though we had the, the double swap. And unfortunately now we're in shoe bill uh, pelican territory where every team has shoe bill pelican um, or else they have a massive EXP team. Again, here you, you get into a situation where you're very, it's very risky where you, if you're rolling down with only three gold and you end on uh, grapes or strawberry or cheese and you lose the pepper, you, you're just done. So I'm very conservative there. And here, unfortunately, another huge team. There was no Shubel or Pelican, but it was clownfish jellyfish they actually had fox as well so fair play to them I find another fox in the shop here but it's way too late to get a level two although i do find two of them um i have to buy the grapes here to prevent the biggest fox losing its pepper and i decide to move one of the other ones to the front maybe i could have moved the weakest one to the front to try and break um uh coconut or pepper but again, it's another huge team. Level 3 Stego. I mean, in this pack, which is just such a nightmare for leveling stuff up, how they've got level 3 Stego there, who knows. But uh, anyway, we yeah, the 5 Foxes run was, prob was probably doomed from the outset. So here is me going for 5 Foxes again. Um, so well done if you realized that it was a trick question and I was actually going to be showing two fox runs. So here I decide to buy sell a crow. I actually made a mistake there. I could have bought sold the platypus for a little bit of extra stats for free. And I actually do it again here because there's another platypus. I think, do I get it right on the second attempt? I guess I was just focusing on the uh, foxes. Here we're on turn 10, six wins and five hearts. So again, it's like a, a pretty good starting point. Okay, so I do get the platypus this time. It's a pretty good starting point, but at the same time, the jellyfish for the second swap is very small. Um, and here, I I'm just gonna freeze the chocolate and hope that the fox steals it. Unfortunately, of course, it steals the peach and the other fox takes the, uh, takes the chocolate. So that is something, I guess. There's a decent chance of having a level two fox, which could Im increase the speed of the um, the food scaling. A triple puffin team, that is also pretty cool to see. Uh, surprised that they had so many wins, but now I'll take the weaker fox in and transfer the stats over from the jelly and get rid of it. And buy sell the platypus this time. I've now realized that I need to do that at every possible opportunity, even though it's only a tiny bit of health. You know, ask yourself how many games you've lost by one HP. Another platypus. Again, here the issue is the the food freezing. Um, I'm I'm making sure that I get two useful foods, but now I want to overwrite them to get the um, the chocolate. And this is a mistake for sure. If I do, I do it or not? Yeah, I think I've realised here that it's a mistake. Maybe I'm going to go ahead with the level up anyway. I can't remember. Yeah, it, the problem here is you cannot make the third biggest fox level two because it will never steal anything. So giving it the chocolate doesn't really work. 
And I think I might actually do it anyway, do I? Yeah, also, also buying that chocolate made no sense either because it meant that one of the foxes didn't steal. So I really should have bought the crow and then risked the um, hot dog buff going onto the crow. Shoe Bill Pelican, but we actually have enough with the, only the, uh, the three foxes, which is kind of a shock. And here I'm going to level the, the main fox. It's guaranteed to steal first. So I want to make sure that it's, um, that means I can make sure that, you know, the food gets doubled. Unfortunately here you can see the problem. I roll into pepper and um, cheese and now I'm rolling for food to try and make sure that the, the fox has two uh, uh, food targets to steal that it can double. So it does actually get the double, which is really good because we need the, the attack to be as high as possible on the weaker foxes. But again, on eight wins, I'm also trying to make sure that I find the remaining foxes. Actually, here we get matched with uh, Philip with Style, who is a SAP streamer. I'll link his, uh, twi uh, his um, uh, Twitch page in the description. I've watched him a few times. He's very entertaining. And now we've got the full board of foxes. And I've got to buy the cheese for one of the weaker ones to make sure that the level two steals the taco and doubles it. So we're, we're able to scale the attack reasonably quickly. The scale in the health is not really that big a deal. We really want to make sure we just get pepper um, onto everything as soon as possible. Unfortunately here, the reindeer double generating the melon means we're gonna lose. Um, that person obviously used their or maybe they didn't use a frog transfer there. Maybe they were just going for the frog achievement. I don't know. But here again, I, I shouldn't really freeze the the um, the orange. It's not as valuable as the taco and the hot dog. But at times you just feel like you have to get some kind of value. And if you get the, you know, if you get one of these foods, you just have to take it. And we actually get matched with woodpecker, which is really unfortunate. But the fox team has enough to get past. Freeze the taco for sure, because doubling that would be very good. Well, actually, we're not going to freeze it. I'm just going to buy it straight away. Kind of risky. Um, and I think what I'll do is here is freeze the popcorn and then just buy it on the back fox to make sure I get the double health. Again, the health is just not that important. I probably should roll here just to find taco, pepper, and hot dog. Another team with a level three tier one. Uh, this one has strawberry because, you know, people take it and then just scale it from the start forever. Normally it's actually a hummingbird or a seahorse, but there it was a mouse. Maybe that person was going for the achievement. Another team with Stego as well. Stego is just, although it's changed quite drastically from what it used to be, it's still like an auto take for so many teams. And although you can't guarantee the buff by positioning anymore, you can still guarantee it by giving pepper to everything. So maybe you have a reindeer with no equipment and everything else has pepper or uh, cheese or strawberry or whatever. Very, very irritating pet, to be honest, because it, it basically you, you have to take one yourself if you don't have a huge team. And unfortunately, Stego is not a fox, so I can't take one here. <laughs> and here this team actually looks not too difficult. Uh, unfortunately there, there was a one HP breakpoint and we end up tying based on the Stego having popcorn. I don't know if I would have, if I'd had one more attack there, would I have won? Someone can check that, but I think uh, that was, that was a very, very close call there. And here again, I'm caught in the dilemma of not knowing what to buy. And because the main fox has already got 50 attack, uh, 50 health, the... Uh, orange just isn't worth it. Um, but here I have to buy the peach because if the main fox takes it again, it's completely goes to waste. Much rather have the, the doubled stats from the taco. So last life, can we do it? And the answer is no, because we get matched with another gigantic strawberry team with Stego. What, what a surprise. Um, so I'm sorry that that's double loss in the same video but you know we have to mix it up sometimes and uh, misery loves company so if you want to try five foxes and see how difficult it is in star pack be my guest <laughs>